From years 2020 to 2023, it's safe to say that no other anime tower defense game has come close to the success of the two largest at the moment, All-Star Tower Defense and Anime Adventures. In this video, I'll be showing the reasons why the better game between the two of these games isn't even close. Uh, I'm not finished. First off, I'm going to be starting with what may seem like a free point for All-Star Tower Defense, but this is a crucial fact that it changed Roblox as we know it today, and that is the originality of these two games. All-Star Tower Defense came out in May 2020, which is coming up to near four years ago now, and at the time of All-Star Tower Defense dropping, it was one of a kind game. No other game would cross anime with a common popular concept like a tower defense to create like a super successful anime game. The fact that this game didn't focus on one particular anime really made it stand out as it reached every fan base equally and could be argued as the inspiration of games such as Anime Fighters as this game crossed over anime with an already popular concept which was in the clicker simulator game. And now the reason I'm giving the originality point to All-Star Tower Defense was Anime Adventures was pretty much a one-for-one -one copy of All-Star Tower Defense especially when it first came out and it was pretty much the exact same game just higher quality and a bit grindier and Anime Adventures has had zero innovation to the games around it so this one's pretty clear to me that's a free point for All-Star Tower Defense. Uh, I'm not finished. When it comes to quality, I think there's a clear winner here. As the anime adventures first landed on the scene, the only way it could thrive against the game it literally copied was by having something All Star Tower Defense didn't have, which was quality. Anime adventures arrived on the scene in July 2022, which is over two years later than All Star Tower Defense. So for people to have to make the switch from the game, they would have to abandon possibly two years worth of grinding on All Star Tower Defense. But people still made this switch, and Anime Adventures and All-Star Tower Defense went back and forth taking places in popularity. And the only reason why people would make the switch is quality. Just a look around the lobby, and you can see the lobby of Anime Adventures has an unreal aesthetic. And the game just looks so much smoother in comparison to All-Star Tower Defense, which looks a bit rough to put it nicely. But Anime Adventures sometimes makes it hard to even believe the game is made in Roblox. It doesn't even look like it was built on the same platform as All-Star Tower Defense. Even just a quick look and comparison of the summon options in Anime Adventures compared to All-Star Tower Defense is enough to show you the difference between the two games' visual effects and the clear difference between them. So for that reason, I'm going to be giving this point quite easily without any competition to Anime Adventures. Uh, I'm not finished. Music may seem like a smaller relevant factor when it comes to comparing the games, but I can assure you it really does impact the game in many ways, as the nostalgia you get when you hear a track from a game that you used to play, it can bring back good times from when you used to play the game, and not just that, but music can really affect the mood of the player and how much they are enjoying the experience, as if you're trying to play All-Star Tower Defense for two whole hours in silence, I guarantee you'll be on board, probably have a negative outlook on the game after that experience, but if you have a really fast-paced, fun soundtrack playing while you're trying to play the game, you might experience something entirely different. I've explained my reasoning for this, but now it's time for my comparison of the music in the two games. And honestly, this is probably the easiest point to give to a game, even easier than giving the originality point to All-Star Tower Defense earlier. First off, I want you to listen to the lobby music for All-Star Tower Defense. And now, listen to the lobby music for Anime Adventures. You didn't get to hear much of these two tracks as I can't play the entire lobby music or this video would be like 10 minutes long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the All-Star Tower Defense and Anime Adventures lobby music as the background for this video. So you can hear the full tracks as you're watching this video. So if you just noticed while you were watching the video, you'll be hearing the Anime Adventures and All-Star Tower Defense soundtracks for the lobby. But that isn't where this ends as the lobby music is only a small fraction of the music you hear while you're playing the two games. Now I want you to listen to two examples of music you get while you're in your game to keep you occupied while you're playing. First off, this is from All-Star Tower Defense in Infinite Mode, which is the main thing you play. And now here's an absolute banger from Anime Adventures.
This is probably my favorite anime adventure track, but unlike All Star Tower Defense, anime adventures has multiple tracks, including one for every single anime for the story mode, making it far better to listen to while playing in the same track over and over. So this point easily goes to anime adventures. Uh, I'm not finished. Trading has been a big factor in both of these games. Arguably, the only reason All Star Power Defense is still alive is due to their trading economy. As there was a long period of time that barely anyone was playing All Star Power Defense, how it was meant to be played, and all they were doing is trading. And the trading at the time was a really fun part of the game. And honestly, I don't think I've ever seen a more active or better trading economy than the peak of All Star Power Defense trading. Just look at its value list with the different units people trying to trade around. So, because of this, you would think I could only give this point to Anime Adventures, right? Well, you're wrong. Let me tell you why. Looking at anime adventures and their limited trading, it kept the game balanced out as a tower defense game and not an entirely new game where people are only trading and it didn't ruin the balance of the gameplay of the game. And almost no one plays anime adventures for the trading. They have the trading feature available for extra fun and extra things to do, but at its core values it's still clearly a tower defense game and it never lost those core values. And that's where All Star Tower Defense kind of messed up by giving people less updates around the actual game and less content to play around with and letting their trading economy go crazy and even to this day more and more units have become tradable and the trading is just a mess where with anime adventures they kept this very controlled very respectable and just kept it all neat tidy and clean and it kept it properly balanced and it didn't leave the game a big mess of trading so for this reason i'll definitely be giving this point to anime adventures uh i'm not finished Active players, balance, and progression of the game are three separate topics, but in a way they go hand in hand, so I'll be talking about all three of them together as one topic. The current state of All-Star Tower Defense is not great. Most of the time it averages half the total players of Anime Adventures has, and has fallen incredibly in the recent months. The reason for the decline in the game is possibly down to the progression of the game. Some of you might be thinking, well, Anime Adventures is incredibly long and grindy, and All-Star Tower Defense from a stand, like starting point, lets you progress much faster, so that must be better, right? Well, wrong again. All Star Tower Defense has had a very hard time balancing the strength of units in the game. So you can start the game with some codes and end up with a unit that does thousands and thousands of damage, possibly even hundreds of thousands, when your story mode has enemies with about 18 health. And the game is just incredibly unbalanced. Anime Adventures, on the other hand, hasn't added any new units with like a million damage to every new unit that comes out. And the game has scaled it all pretty well. And just in case new users are slightly overpowered for the story they are on, the story lets you skip to the end using these teleporters or world portals which is just a genius way of keeping the player happy and the grinding less but still keeping the game overall balanced which all star tower defense definitely failed to do and just left their players wasting time attacking units with 10 health with a unit that does like a billion damage which is just pointless and left the game a mess every update on all star tower defense is just a reskin version of the last one where you do some more farming get the new unit that does a ton more damage whereas anime adventures is a whole trait system on your units to get extra stuff to do and lets you grind to get more damage on different abilities on these units and the process to evolve your units is normally different every time and can be different every time and it poses an actual challenge to players and it isn't just grinding over and over and over again and there's also events where you can get limited units and anime adventures just has such high quality stuff alongside the portal system which lets you do a whole different thing like separate to the meta and all of these pathways just gives you so much to do and keeps it so perfectly balanced so the progress just is nice no matter what you want to do and it's perfectly balanced it's not a mess it's not too speedy it's not too slow it's perfect Everyone likes a good cheat and they think, oh, All-Star Tower Defense is a lot more fun because I do better at the start. But realistically, that's not how a balanced game should be. And this just means the game isn't balanced at all and it's terrible. But you're progressing fast because the game is unbalanced. But because of these reasons, I'm going to have to give the progression and all these other points straight to Anime Adventures. Because as you can see, All-Star Tower Defense has this game ruined by multiple, multiple things. And that's why currently it's dying. And every update, it just gets less and less players. And Anime Adventures is staying around the same spot with 50,000 players. With the quality, the trading, the progression, everything, I feel like Anime Adventures just takes the win. So now you clearly see how Anime Adventures vs. All Star Tower Defense isn't even close.